compressed air. Where do you buy compressed air? Okay. Yeah, right now, I'm really trying to figure out whether mech or bio is going to be better against zerg in the long run. Because I want to choose one and stick with it. Um, at least for the next month. I want to, like, practice mech or bio against zerg. Um, so... There's there's uh, pros and cons to each one. I don't know. Not sure what's better. Not enough minerals. I think Mech might have more overall potential just because. Widow mines are pretty sick. SCVs are under attack. Not enough minerals. Gotcha. Big job, huh? Roger. Bad news. Our SCVs are under attack. So I get the feeling Zerg is going to be pretty aggressive here. I saw that was a pretty early... looking pool. It could be just to kill the engineering bay, but better safe than sorry. So I'll put up a bunker. Hey, what's going on? I feel like uh, Baneling Bust is coming. The fact that my, e my eBay hasn't been broken down yet is kind of a sign that I'm going to be attacked. And this is something I could definitely lose to. So I'm going to do the same thing I did a few games ago. I liked the feel of that. Banshee 
with pretty quick bio instead of an early third or early engineering base. Add on complete. Not enough energy. I've butchered this wall in, <laughs> but oh well. So I saw a lot of links and I saw speed. That's why I'm being pretty careful with these Hellions. Add on, So my Banshee hasn't killed much, but that Banshee was going to keep me safe there. And I actually sort of accidentally went for a Viking first. Just because my tech lab timing was poor. I don't know, like, it feels like this opening went about as poorly as it could go, but I'm still in pretty good shape. I mean, I held off, I held off an all-in very, very handily, so that was, a, that was a good thing, but otherwise I've played this pretty poorly. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Add on complete. But he's got no creep spread. Bunch of roaches. Additional supply depots required. Engaging. Additional supply depots required. He's just dead here. Additional supply depots required. Got no paper. Big job. Call the bar. SCB ready. That's fine. I'll go in. Get heavy. Confirm. Additional supply depots required. Not enough minerals. Are you ready for this? With some. Light it up! I got my ears off.
So let's take a look at what what he did. This eBay block is something I'm fascinated by because it poses Zerg just these really interesting problems that it's just this really cool uh, interaction of like misinformation because I don't get any info really beyond the eBay block but Zerg is in this really really difficult position because the only thing they want to build is drones but if they can't expand they're just going to oversaturate their main and it it really like just throws a wrench into what Zerg wants to do. Yeah, the correct transition out of Hellion Banshee is a third CC, double eBay or Armory, and then barracks or factories, depending what you uh, chose. And you want to you want to max out at like 14 or 15 minutes and hit a big timing with 2-2. Two, two. So, okay, in this case, Zerg went for speed. Uh, you get two, you get two Banshees. I actually did a walkthrough of that build, and it's on my YouTube channel at Sterling, at youtube.com slash Sterling SC2, S-C-I-I. And uh, I just went through the build and kind of talked about some of the ins and outs. Okay, so he built a Roach Warren and a Baneling Nest. So this is like a one base all-in answer. And it didn't feel threatening in the slightest. Like, I didn't even have a wall up, and this just got shut down. Okay, 